A snow plow is actually the big blade on a snow clearing vehicle, not the vehicle itself. The first snow plows were wedge shaped wooden blades drawn by horses. As cars replaced horses, these gave way to metal plows mounted to the front of trucks and other large machines. A snow plow is a blade made of either stainless steel, which is rust proof, or carbon steel, which they coat in plastic based powder paint to prevent rust. To begin making the blade, they take a sheet of steel about three millimeters thick and insert it in a press. The press punches out holes for the bolts which attach the blade to the mounting structure. Next, they feed the sheet through a rolling press. The rollers apply 35 to 40 tons of pressure, curving the sheet to the required shape. Workers check that the front radius and top radius of the curve meet the technical specifications. Next, using a machine called a press brake, they bend over the top of the sheet. This bend will sit on the top bar of the mounting structure. The mounting structure is made of several parts cut from giant plates of carbon steel. A computer guides the cutting machine, which uses electrode-generated flames. Their intense focused heat literally slices through the steel by melting it. The steel is too hot to handle when the plasma cutting is done, so workers lift off the parts with magnets. Then they bend key load-bearing parts in a press brake to increase the structural strength. They position the parts for one section of the structure in an assembly fixture and weld them together. In a different assembly fixture, they position the parts for another section of the structure. A robot welds those together. Back at the first assembly, they use pins to attach a spring-loaded component called a trip edge. It protects the vehicle from damage by absorbing the shock through the springs rather than through the vehicle frame, should the plow hit an obstacle on the road. After welding the two sections together, workers send the structure to the powder coating area. There, workers spray it first with powder primer, then with powder paint. Each coat is baked to activate the plastic base, which produces an ultra-durable shell over the metal. Once the structure cools, workers install the springs for the trip edge. Then they attach the base of the structure called the cutting edge. It's made of a harder type of steel because it scrapes the ground. The structure is now finished and ready to receive the blade. This one's getting a stainless steel blade. The bent top fits over the structure's top bar, the bottom into a slot below. Workers secure the blade with bolts, then finish off the plow with a decal. For this model, they make two plows like this, mirror images of each other. They go side by side, connected in the middle by a hinge to form a V-shaped snow plow. Straight plows have a single blade attached to a different type of structure. All the parts, except stainless steel blades, are powder painted and baked. The V plow articulates. The driver can adjust the width of the V to direct the snow. Another model combines a straight blade with hinged blades for clearing snow in large areas such as parking lots. When it comes to these types of machines, there's clearly no business like snow business.